Hello. Welcome to the Xbox version of Space Engineers. Today, I'm going to take a very quick look at rotors. And I'm going to do a recap on how hinges work. Well, first of all, you can use rotors to create drill rigs, but you can also use them to make doors. This particular large door here uses an advanced rotor and some blast door blocks because this door was created before the update that introduced the new collision. So, zipping over here to my temporary base, which you may recognise from my original tutorial way, 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 way back last year in March, if I remember correctly. Sorry, this year in March, even. It's been a while. As you can see, I've added a few more bits and pieces. Welcome to rotors. When you build a rotor, you'll notice whether it's a rotor or an advanced rotor, and the only difference between advanced rotors and rotors is that advanced rotors allow you to connect up to resources and storage, so you can use them as part of your drill rigs. So all rotors have degrees on them, you'll see, zero and zero and zero. When you're building with a rotor, always make a note of where zero is. That way you can tell your rotor how to move between zero and ninety or 180 easily. So this rotor moves between 0 and 90 degrees. And to do that you need to set up the rotor in your terminal. Take a look at the various rotor settings. Now we'll ignore shear inertia tensor. <coughs> Excuse me. You don't need that unless you're building a drill rig. Drill rigs can shake. Shear inertia tensor will help with that. So what we have here is a velocity of minus three at the moment the rotor's reversed a lower limit of zero remember zero is to our right at the moment and the upper limit of 90 degrees rotor displacement we don't need so every time I press that button our rotor will only move between 90 and zero and this particular button is set up with rotor 2 reverse. <clears throat> so, say we want to move our rotor between 0 and 180. So we go to our advanced rotor. and change the upper limit to about 180. I'm doing this by holding down the right bumper and tapping right on the D-pad. Then I'll just tap left a bit. Right again. It can be a bit tricky to 
get this set. Uh, there is another way to change these sliders now as well. By pressing A on that particular slider you can also enter the value then press X to set it. But you'll see now that our second rotor will no longer stop at 90 it will continue to move until it reaches 180. Just going to change the time of day so we're back in the sun. There we go. Again, if I press the button again, it will swing all the way back, passing through 90 <coughs> until it hits zero. So that's your upper and lower limit on the rotor. Look at the rotor again. Look at the rotor. On this, you'll see there is no limit. That's the third rotor. That's when you want a drill rig. You want to make sure lower and upper are set to unlimited. That's our other rotor. Upper limit 180, lower limit 0. So lower limit 0, upper limit 180. And when you have no limit, then your rotor will spin constantly until you turn it off or you stop it. But when you stop your rotor, it won't stop automatically. It'll take some time because the block on the top has mass. To offset this, you need to look at braking torque. So let's bring our settings up again. So I'm going to set the braking torque on this to midway. 31.6. Come out of that. Then start. instant stop. That's really all you need to know about rotors. As long as you know your upper and your lower limit, you can work out which degree you need to set your rotor to to get your door to work. Of course you can also use hinges for doors and ramps and things. And when you build a hinge, there is a little trick to know where your lower limit on the hinge is compared to your upper limit. So if we bring up the hinge you'll see we're at 90 degrees. So our lower limit on the hinge is minus 90, our upper limit is 90. So, our lower limit is denoted on the hinge by this here. This white line in part of the hinge construction is where your lower limit is. So if I the button on this. See, your hinge transitions down to your lower limit. In case of this hinge, our lower limit is set at minus 90. So if we change this 
lower limit. Our hinge will swing back to zero. So now we have two states upper limit of 90 and a lower of zero. Useful if you want to do things like this. And that is really all you need to know about rotors and hinges to get started. Remember, the lower limit on a hinge is denoted by this white line in part of the hinge construction. So when you're building, make note of that and you won't go far wrong. Same as a rotor. Zero is a good point to build your rotor at. Once you know where zero is, which could be the upper part of your door. Then maybe your door swings through 90 degrees. Just like this arrow goes from zero to 90. That's the quick tutorial and recap on rotors with a little bit on hinges. Thanks for watching, stay safe, take care until the next one. Happy engineering, enjoy the game, there is far more to come with Space Engineers as Keen will continue to add features. Mods will eventually arrive on the retail at the moment, if you watch my other video you can see they are on the beta. Until then, have fun.